Hello and welcome back to the Melge Gaming YouTube channel. Just recently I was watching a friend of mine whilst they were streaming and this complete random shows up in the chat. Somebody we've never seen before, never heard of, isn't a follower of the channel or anything like that. He sends one message and one message only. It is, hi, everybody go and follow me. I'm about to go live. He was promptly banned. Today's video is going to be hopefully quite a short and to the point one, but it is an important one. We're going to spend a bit of time talking about viewer and or streamer etiquette. This is a topic that you could talk about endlessly, but we're going to try and condense this down into 10 main points to focus on. And these are probably the 10 most common issues that I see uh, with viewers and streamers coming into other people's streams, trying to self promote and things like that. Now we have touched lightly on some of these points in the five big tips for new streamers video and the networking video. I'll put a link up in the corner for you now in case you haven't seen those yet. I definitely recommend that you go and check them out. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified when future videos go live. Uh, but for now, let's get into it. Number one, and this one should be quite an obvious one. I'm sure you've all heard it plenty of times before. As a streamer or a viewer or a viewer who streams or a streamer who views, when you enter somebody else's chat, you are there as a viewer of their channel and it is not the place for self-promotion. When you're in somebody else's channel, you shouldn't even be mentioning the fact that you're a streamer unless you're invited to do so by the broadcaster. Sometimes when I'm in a stream, uh, the broadcaster might say, hey Melge, uh, when are you next live? Or how was your stream yesterday? And sure, in those circumstances, it's fine to answer and engage with them. And obviously they're letting their chat know that you're a streamer and it's because they feel comfortable to do so. It's not right for you to show up in somebody else's chat and start telling all of their viewers that you're a streamer and that they should go and follow you. It's just unprofessional. So just to recap, never show up in somebody's stream announcing that you're a streamer. Definitely don't go and tell everybody to follow you. And above all else, don't go in there saying, oh, I'm going to be going live soon. Yeah, it's unprofessional and it's looked down upon. It's not the place for self-promotion. Number two, and sticking to the theme of not promoting in other people's channels, I just wanted to highlight that this extends to things like asking streamers to play your music on stream or asking them to visit your Animal Crossing island or asking them to watch your YouTube video or whatever piece of content it is that you're trying to promote. Streamers work really hard to build up their audience and they're not going to let you piggyback off of that audience just for some easy views. The same goes for piggybacking onto social media posts as well, where you show up on a post and you make no effort to interact with the original post itself and you just drop your own link on there. Please stop it. We're all judging you. Number three, don't tell streamers that you're leaving to go live yourself or that you're leaving to go and watch another channel. Just simply and politely tell them that you've got to take off and uh, thank them for entertaining you for a little while. It's really easy. There's no need to go and say, oh, I'm going to go and watch X, Y and Z or actually I'm, I've got to go because I'm going live now. If you find saying goodbye a little bit awkward, then it's better to just leave silently than it is to promote your own or somebody else's channel in another streamer's chat. Number four, stop ruining the surprise of raids. I've seen it quite a few times before where a viewer will rush off to a channel that's about to get raided to tell the streamer that they're about to get raided. And the issue here is twofold. Firstly, it ruins the excitement and the surprise of the raid, stealing that feel good moment from the raider. And secondly, it can also cause anxiety or stress for the person that's about to be raided because they're now sitting there waiting for this influx of people. So please, don't spoil the raid. Number five. Now, as a viewer, if you come across uh, issues on a stream, whether that's the mic to game level balance not being quite right or the streamers left the BRB screen up or they've left themselves muted. Absolutely. Go ahead and politely let the streamer know about the issue so that they can rectify it. 
If somebody else has already let them know in the chat, then you don't need to hop on that and keep letting them know as well. I'm sure they are aware and they're probably working to fix it as quickly as they can. Give them a chance to sort it out, be respectful, and I'm sure you'll be just fine. The vast majority of streamers will be really happy that you've let them know in the first place, as long as you go about it in the right way. Number six, don't talk about a streamer's view count. A lot of us streamers actually turn off our view counts when we're live because that's not the main focus of what we're trying to do. Yes, we all like to have viewers and yes, we all like to do well with our viewer numbers. But for some of us, knowing that there's tens or maybe even hundreds of people watching can be really nerve wracking. Once you know that number, there's no unknowing it and it can really ruin the vibe of a stream. So keep the numbers to yourself. Most streamers will go back and they'll look at their viewer numbers after the stream. We just don't want to know when we're in the thick of it and really just trying to enjoy ourselves and engage with chat. Number seven, don't ask to be a moderator. I would go as far as to say that the first step to becoming a moderator on any channel is understanding the fact that asking to be a moderator will not get you there. Before you can even be considered to be a moderator, you need to be present. You need to understand the streamer and what it is they're trying to do with their channel. You need to understand their community and the vibe that they're trying to create. To achieve all of this normally takes quite a lot of time and spending a lot of time in a channel and a lot of dedication to that streamer. In fact, I would go as far as to say that asking to be a moderator probably moves you a step further away from being a moderator. So please stop asking to be mods. Number eight, avoid backseat gaming. Just let the streamer play their game the way that they want to. And to add to that, Let's also throw in the why aren't you playing X or how comes you're not playing Y. If you want to watch those games, I'm sure there's probably hundreds of other channels streaming them. Feel free to go and watch them. Nobody's forcing you to be in the channel that you're in. So again, just let the streamers play the game that they want to play in the way that they want to play it. Number nine, don't spam the chat. Now it can be really easy for a message to be missed and there's nothing wrong with sending it again in a few minutes time if the streamer hasn't managed to answer it or respond to you. But 99% of streamers do their absolute best to read and respond to every message. So don't spam the chat. Uh, lastly, number 10, when you go into a channel for the first time, take a minute to go and look below the, uh, the broadcaster's actual video and have a look at the panels they've set up below. Have a read of the rules and their about section and get a feel for the streamer and what it is that they're trying to do with their channel. And again, read the rules and respect them. Above and in conjunction with all of that, respect the broadcaster and respect the moderators. If you get timed out, then respect it, understand why and apologize when you come back. You need to understand that when you're in somebody else's stream, you are in their space and you abide by their rules or you face the consequences. So I guess to summarize, don't self promote, don't promote others, don't backseat game, respect the broadcaster and their moderators and what it is that they're trying to do with the channel. And I guess overall, the message that we're trying to send here is to just be supportive and be positive in general. Streaming is hard enough without having to deal with issues from people who don't understand streamer etiquette. When you're watching a stream, be the kind of viewer that you wish you had in your stream. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with any of these points and let me know what like big slip ups you think I've missed because I'm sure there's some stuff that I've not included in this video that happens quite a lot. So any of that, let me know below in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, then make sure to like it, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified when future videos go live. And thanks for watching.